welcome back to my channel if you have been here before and if you are new welcome I'm Amberina I have a blog called Beauty Passionista today's video I've been doing the no heat hair challenge that was set up by KGMTL she's also a youtuber and an Instagrammer and she set up this challenge to not use any heat on your hair for I think it was four weeks I've come to the end of my no heat hair challenge. Today marks five weeks with no heat in my hair whatsoever. And although I've been talking about it non-stop on Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over to my Instagram, I'll link it somewhere here and then you can uh, follow me and stay up to date there. But I realized that I hadn't talked about it here on YouTube. So I thought seeing as I'm at the end of the five weeks, I've just washed my hair. <laughs> so you can see it actually is a little bit wet. I'm, I would say I've just stepped out of the shower, but obviously not. I've put makeup on. And I think that today I might, seeing as I've done five weeks without any heat, I thought I might actually style my hair today. So I wanted to film this video before I do that and just give you guys like an update on why I did it, what I hope to gain from it and would I do it again and obviously also the products that I've used in my hair just because there's no heat it doesn't mean I haven't used products just to keep the frizz at bay because I do have frizz and the main reason that I blow dry my hair is because I need to get rid of the frizz. Yeah that's basically what today's video is if you want to hear more about my no heat hair challenge then keep watching. So a little bit of background, normally when I go away on holiday I don't blow dry my hair at all. I mean I literally just let it air dry and I do that every time I go away and this year as well I went away at the beginning of July, didn't use any heat on my hair for a while, I came back and it was still quite damaged obviously from the sun and the sea and the salt water pools, it ruined my hair. And I thought that actually this would be quite a good thing to do, just to give my hair a break. It was the summer holidays, it was very casual, relaxed time anyway. So that's what I did. First week of August I decided to just not use any heat in my hair. I wanted to just, because obviously my hair is coloured as well, so I wanted to give it a rest from any more damage. And I wanted to just A, stop the damage happening, but also try and repair whatever damage. I had done to my hair in the past. That is why I did it and I just hoped for less frizz, <laughs> less damaged hair. Um, I actually would really love for my hair to go the way it does on holiday. When I air dry my hair when I'm on holiday it goes into this lovely like beachy wave but when I normally let my hair air dry here in London it just goes into like some massive frizz. It's like Monica in Friends when she's in the Caribbean. So I guess I was hoping that I could try and get my hair to behave a bit better here in London as well. I mean obviously it's a lot more damp in London and the heat here is humid so it does tend to get a little bit frizzy. But anyway, that was what I was hoping for. So five weeks into it, well I'm at the end of my no heat hair challenge, would I do it again? Absolutely, definitely. I think I'm going to do this once a year. I think it's made such a difference to my hair. I feel there's less breakage. It's beginning to grow a little bit more. I'm just not traumatizing my hair by adding in heat, whether it's um, a blow dry or tongs or straightening or, you know, whatever, none of that at all. So yes, I would definitely do it again and I would definitely recommend it to you. If you have done anything to your hair, like colored it, straightened it, permed it, whatever, I think sometimes it's really good to give it a break from the heat. If I had any tips for you, I would say <laughs> try and do it when you don't have lots of social engagements because that's when it's really hard to stay true to the no heat hair challenge. You know, you kind of want your hair to look nice when you go out and if everyone else has got their hair done and you feel that you just look a bit of a mess, it's not a great feeling. So try and pick a time if you can where you don't have lots of social engagements and you can literally just let your hair be free. Also, I'd say don't wash your hair more than twice a week. I mean, I normally don't wash my hair more than twice a week anyway. So if you can, if you're used to washing your hair more often than that, try and cut it back a little bit when you are doing the no heat hair challenge, if you're thinking of doing it. It's just less time that you have to worry about air drying your hair and for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I let my hair air dry, first day is always a bit, oh, it doesn't look so nice. The second and the third day is when my hair starts to look really nice. So for me, it's better not to wash it too often because 
I get more days where it's looking nice, if you see what I mean, in between the washes. And then definitely use all the right products. And by that, I mean the right product for your hair. So my hair, because it is quite dry, is much better suited to creams and oils rather than mousses and things like that. Mousses for me just make my hair really dry, they make it really crispy, they don't make my hair feel nice. So I try and stay away from mousses. For me, it's all about using oils and creams. I basically treat my hair, I guess, like I treat my skin. So it's all about creams and oils and moisturizing my hair. I just need to keep moisturizing it all the time. I'm going to show you now what products I have found indispensable. I obviously tried loads and loads of different things during the five weeks to see what worked and what didn't. There were some that worked better than others, so I'm just going to tell you about the ones that I think made a difference and really helped me through this no heat hair challenge. There were others as well that I started with. You can see all of those that I started with on my IGTV, on my Instagram. So go on over and check that out because I filmed that I think on day four, I should have filmed it at the beginning. So you can actually see the difference in my hair from day four to now, end of week five. I don't know how many days that is, 35 days. Yeah, there were loads and loads of different products that I've been using, trialing, trying out, seeing what worked, seeing what didn't. What I'm going to show you now is the products that really made the difference, that I'm glad I used, and the ones that I kept coming back to. The ones that are worth the money, worth the time, and worth the effort. But yes, now let's get to the product because for me that has been the way to get through this, especially in the first two weeks. The first two weeks I found really difficult. My hair was very dry. It hadn't started benefiting yet from not having any heat in the hair, but it also looked terrible. <laughs> I'll admit, I think it looked terrible anyway. My kids loved it, my husband loved it. They all love that more like natural beachy look on me. But you know, I didn't feel comfortable with it the way it looked. After a couple of weeks, my hair kind of settled into being air-dried and loving it. So in those first two weeks, if it hadn't been for the products, I don't know, I might have given up. I didn't, but I think it's down to the products. So let's start with those. So for me, one of the key reasons that I wanted to do the No Heat Hair Challenge was because I wanted to undo the damage. And for me, that's all about using a mask and this is the one that I turn to time and time and time again. You guys know this, this is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. It doesn't just come in this one litre bottle, it comes in all different sizes. But for me, this is the way to go because I use this so much. I always use this when I come back from holiday. And this year, obviously, no exception. So I would put this in overnight, the night before I'm going to wash my hair. Just wet my hair comb this through, tie it up or put it in a plait or something like that, put a towel over my pillow, you've heard me talk about this so many times, I put a towel over my pillow just to protect my bed sheets and stuff and then I wash it out the next day and this literally transforms your hair. I use this on my girls as well, both my daughters have hair like almost down to their waists and they've got this in their bathrooms as well so that you know I just need them to look after their hair too. That is my holy grail hair mask, any damage that you think you've done to your hair and you want to just get it back into good shape, I would definitely recommend the Philip Kingsley. You know when they say things happen for a reason? Just, I think, maybe a week or two before I started doing my No Heat Hair Challenge, I was introduced to this brand called Innocence, and it's a completely organic, natural hair care range from America, and it's just recently come to the UK. And I really think that I was introduced to that for a reason because this has been the shampoo and conditioner that I came back to again and again and again during the majority of my No Heat Hair Challenge. It's just really, really natural, um, gentle, moisturizing. It's everything that my hair needed. I actually have the hydrating cream hair bath and the hydrating cream conditioner. So they, they, I think they have a volumizing one as well. I got given the hydrating one, and like I said, I think everything happens for a reason. It was absolutely perfect. I love these, they smell gorgeous, and they're really, really gentle on cleansing the hair and the scalp. It's so, so important to make sure you're gentle on your scalp as well, because that's where your hair's coming out of. You know, that's where the health of the hair starts there in the scalp. So those were the two that I turned to again and again and again. But recently, I started using this uh, little hair care system. This is from a brand 
that is new to me. It's called Excessio. I have a feeling, I think it's from Greece. It's a Greek brand, I think. Pretty sure this is not a natural hair care brand, but it's about getting your hair to grow thicker and faster and it's like a hair care system every time you use it it is like giving your hair a treatment it takes about 45 minutes to do this so it is like giving your hair a treatment and it takes time I've only just started using this in the last week 10 days so I'll probably report back on this or do a blog post on this separately because I haven't really been using it long enough to know if it's going to make that kind of a difference in terms of thickness and hair growth and that kind of thing but that is what I've been using in the last 10 days or so, purely because I want to see if I can get thicker hair. I mean, we all want thicker hair. That's another shampoo, conditioner type thing that I've been using as well. I think you can see, actually, even while I'm just talking to you, my hair is beginning to dry up really quickly. I haven't put any product in it yet. I should have put the product in before I started filming, but I was going to run out of time before the school run. So I just really wanted to film this so, so, so quickly. So now I'm just gonna whiz through the products that I use after I've washed my hair. Oh, no, before I do that, I want to tell you about a couple of things that I use as I get out of the shower. So one of the key things to stop frizz is the amount of time it takes to dry your hair. If it takes longer to dry, it's going to be more frizzy. So the quicker you can dry it, the better. So I've been using this towel, it's from a company called Aquis and it's literally just the, the right size to do, you can see it's still wet from having come out of the shower. You just use it to tie up your hair and it just absorbs the water from your hair so much more quickly than a regular towel. It probably is a microfiber cloth I think and that's why it just sucks in the water from your hair so your hair dries really quickly. I mean if you were to get out of the shower wrap this around your hair and do your makeup, your hair is pretty much 80% dry by the time you finish doing your makeup. Obviously depending on how long you take to do your makeup, but you know what I mean. So I've been using this every time I wash my hair, I just wrap it up in this and it just dries so much quicker. And the other thing I could not have lived without during this No Heat Hair Challenge is this little brush. It looks very, very unassuming, but I swear to you it is incredible it's from a company called manta hair and it is a bit like a tangle teaser but so much better for me anyway because it has this handle which means when i'm brushing my hair it doesn't just fly out of my hands you know a tangle teaser just i always end up it just keeps flying out of my hands so this gives me something to hold on to plus it's all molded from one piece which i love so there's there's no way for like dirt to get trapped and it starts looking a bit manky after you've used it for a while it's super easy to clean the hair off it if you've got you know hair coming into the brush which we always do and what else can i tell you about it it, it was i use it in the shower to comb my conditioner through as well it's completely waterproof so it's brilliant for combing and making sure conditioner has reached every part of your hair it doesn't tug it doesn't pull it doesn't it doesn't break the hair at all so i use it when my hair is wet I also use it when my hair is dry, in between washes as well, like on a daily basis. I just love it. I love the feel of it. Oh, it feels so lovely on the scalp as well. It's like having a little scalp massage. So that is another thing that I have absolutely loved and has made my No Heat Hair Challenge just that little bit easier. Right, moving on to the products that I put into my hair after I've washed it and it's nearly dry and stuff. The ones that I could not have done without that have made life so much easier these past five weeks. So, like I said, it is all about the creams and the oils and that kind of thing for me. I've used the Innocence Leave-In Conditioner quite a few times and I love that. It's just a spray, it's very easy to just spray on over the hair and I comb it through with my Manta hairbrush again and that is a really lightweight but lovely hydrating moisturizing conditioner. Another product which is like that, it's like a lotion for your hair, like a lightweight lotion, but again, very, very moisturizing. This is the Kerastars Aura Botanica Lait de Soie, which basically means silk milk. I think that's lovely. It, it's, it's a lovely name, both in English and in French. And it's a whitish cream that's very, very lightweight. I just put about two pumps into my hand rub my finger, hands together and then just distribute it throughout my hair. Again, I always use my Manta brush just to make sure I've distributed the product really, really well throughout my hair. But that is lovely, lightweight and really, really moisturizing as well. So I definitely recommend that. Out of all of the products that I've used, I would say that this one from IGK Hair has got to be my number one post-wash 
product. This is called Mistress and it's the hydrating hair balm. It, when you first squeeze it out into your hand, it looks like it would be really heavy on the hair. But just one little pea-sized blob is enough for all of my hair. And I just make sure I distribute it right through all of the hair and it's absolutely brilliant. I think if there was one, if I had to have one product that I would use after washing my hair, it would be this one. It's so good at what it does. It doesn't weigh the hair down at all. It doesn't make it crispy or any of that. It's it's definitely a balm texture though. It's not a cream, it's not a lotion. I also always use an oil in my hair. I normally put it on after I've used either, you know, that Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm or a leave-in conditioner. In fact, I normally layer up the products. I use very little of each, but I layer them up. So I'll use a leave-in conditioner, then I'll go in with the Hydrating Hair Balm from IGK, and then I'll use an oil on top. And then I'll also use an oil in between washes. So every day I'll just take one pump of an oil and just run it through like mid lengths to ends of my hair because it does tend to still get dry even though I don't blow dry it or anything. And the oils that I have loved during this five weeks, well first up it is this one absolutely gorgeous from Shu Uyamura and this is the Essence Absolute. It smells divine, it's got camellia oil in it but it's got so many other oils in it as well and it is so lightweight and hydrating and nourishing and I absolutely love this. So this is the one that I've been using all the way through this no heat hair challenge and definitely, definitely recommend this. If you're looking for a new hair oil, go for this. It lasts for ages. You hardly need any. You can see I've still got so much left. Brilliant. It's an expensive one, but it is so worth the money. One that won't surprise you at all that I love because this is probably my fifth bottle of it I think over the years. This is from Show Beauty. I love this. I mean I love the packaging anyway. I'm down to about there on this one. This is number bottle number five and I swear to you I'll buy another one because I cannot live without this. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can put this even into the roots of your hair and it won't make your hair greasy and it won't weigh your roots down. It's very very lightweight. It smells divine. It smells like all the other Show Beauty products. This is quite expensive for a hair oil, but again, I think it's really worth the money. I love how it makes my hair look and feel. And last up, one that I had totally forgotten about, I've had this for ages, but during these five weeks, I've been raiding my cupboards to see what other things I have that I should use or try again, whatever. This is the hairdresser's oil from Bumble and Bumble. It's called the hairdresser's invisible oil. I used to use this a while ago. Don't know why I stopped using it anyway. Gave it another go. I tend to use this in between washes, not when my hair is damp. And just to kind of, you know, moisturize down here during the week. And uh, yeah, I'm back to loving this as well. And it's a lot cheaper than the other two. So if you're you know, just getting into hair oils, don't want to spend too much because you don't know whether it's for you or not, this is definitely a very good option as your first like little dipping your toe into hair oils. And that is it for this little roundup of the No Heat Hair Challenge, why I did it, what I hope to gain from it, what did I think of it, and all of that, and also the products that I think have made it doable, because without the products, as I said, I don't think it would have been doable for me. I would have felt too self-conscious. I would have felt like, yeah, let's not go there. So I hope that this was useful to you, especially if you are thinking of trying out the No Heat Hair Challenge. I mean, I'd really recommend it with the party season coming up soon, where the hair would probably take a bigger hit in terms of products and styling and stuff like that. So if you can fit it in, even for a couple of weeks, I think it's definitely worth doing. I hope I've answered any questions that you might have about it, but if I haven't, then please leave me your questions in the comments box below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Even if you're not going to do the No Heat Hair Challenge, I would love to hear from you. And if you did like this video, if you understood anything, because I know I've spoken really, really fast, but if you did like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up down there as well. And if you're not subscribed, then obviously hit that subscribe button for more videos from me. I need to go and put something in my hair now, because yeah, I haven't put any product in. You can see it's basically air dried while I'm talking to you. And I have to tell you, five weeks ago, this would have been out here. This is the difference that no heat can make. So I definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.